Welcome to this episode of Ink It Up with Jessica TV. Today I'm going to show you how to make a thinking of you card with a cool background and show you how you can take any stamp that you have and one color ink and make a cool background like this. So for this thinking of you card, I started with a piece of whisper white cardstock. This is four inches by five and a quarter inches. And this is a cardstock size that I use all the time for on top of my card fronts. So four inches by five and a quarter inches. I'm gonna take a butterfly stamp from, and I'm gonna to totally say this wrong, Pap Papillion Pap Potpourri, I think is the name of the set. Anyway, a butterfly stamp. And I'm gonna take a Coastal Cabana ink pad, and we're just gonna stamp butterflies all over this piece of white cardstock. So I'm just gonna ink up my butterfly, stamp it, now you can ink it up again and stamp it, or you can stamp it a couple of times without re-inking it. It depends on how you want your background to look. You're just gonna keep filling in as you like it. You can even turn your butterfly upside down if you'd like. If you're using flowers, you're, you're gonna wanna just keep rotating your stamp so that it, it goes different ways. So just keep inking and stamping, inking and stamping. You want to go off the sides of your cardstock like I'm doing here. So you want to make sure that you have some scratch paper underneath your surface. Unless you want a really pretty table. Okay, so just cover up the entire piece. Now you'll see the difference between this and this is that I re-inked my stamp pad right before I stamped this piece. So that's why this one is looking a little bit darker than the first one that I stamped. But again, you can just fill in wherever you feel like there's white spaces, just fill in a little bit more there until it looks exactly like you want it. Also, as your ink dries, it's gonna fade a little bit. Okay, I have one more white spot up here that I wanna cover and I think that looks good. So this card also shows you that you don't need a whole lot of supplies to make a nice card. I'm sticking with one color. We call that a monochromatic card. And the color is Coastal Cabana. So for my actual card, I have a piece of five and a half inch by eight and a half inch cardstock. It's just cut in half. You can either score this at four and a quarter inches, or you can fold it in half to make your card. And I like to give it a nice crease with a bone folder. Next, we'll take a little bit of snail adhesive so that we can put the background that we made on to the front of our card. Just tape that into place. If you're using a regular dye ink, it's not gonna take long for this to dry, so it's pretty much gonna dry right as you stamp it. Next, I'm gonna add our greeting, and I have a piece of one inch by three and three quarter inch white cardstock. Again, I'm going to take my Coastal Cabana ink. I have a Thinking of You stamp. This is from the For You stamp set. Just going to make sure I get that inked up well and then stamp that on my white piece. I have to admit, normally I would use my Stampamajig for this because I am very particular, but I'm going to wing it. And that looks pretty good. So the last thing we're going to do is just tape this onto our card front. So again, a little snail adhesive on the back. And then I chose to put this to the right side of the card, just right up against the edge of the patterned paper that I made. And there you have a super easy background technique and card that you can really make with any supplies that you have on hand already. So I hope you'll give this new technique a try. Thanks for watching.